Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm John and the police are right in front of me. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't think they're going to pull me over though. But anyway, I got a few things I want to talk about today. So hopefully you can hear me. That's probably one of the things I'll talk about. All right, here we go. Oh, they put the speed camera back up. Look at that thing. Oh, those things are just, they are proliferating all over the county and state that I live in. And they're supposed to go to like some children's fund or schools or something, but I don't think they do. Anyway, it is a nice, nice day. 74 and overcast. Yeah, it might rain, but that's why I got the 360 cam up there. That I just love watching 360 footage. So I assume that like me, other people like watching 360 footage, which is why I do so many tests with my 360 camera. Hey, I said it three times. Anyway, the, uh, the 360 camera has a new lens on it. So yay for me. Turns out the package had four lens protectors in it, not two. So they're like uh, two and a half bucks, which is pretty cool. So that saves me uh, quite a bit. Anyway, uh, with the impending rain, I know the nine is good in the uh, in the media mod here because of that other video I did. But the Max is waterproof, so it gets stuck up there in a fairing. And I wanted to get out for a ride before it gets too hot. Later this week, it's going to be in the 90s, and I am not acclimated to that warm weather yet. I rode enough over the winter that. I am not used to the warmer temperatures, and anything over 80 feels like it's just ridiculously hot, even though I know it's not. And then by July, I'll be like, oh, it's 100. Let's go ride. Ooh, it's going to be 65. Better stay inside. So does anybody else feel like that? Like you get acclimated for one season just for another season to start? Oh, so painful. It's not that bad. I mean, it's really just a, that's a first world problem, right? It's like the definition of first world problem. But uh, I was able to ride all winter long, every week or two, and now the, the warmer temperatures feel hot. And boy, it's just, a, it's just a nice spring. But with these warmer temperatures come the cicadas. Maro Mengi mentioned it on a recent video, and they are hitting down here in Maryland, Mengi. Look out above. We've got swarms of them almost all over the place. They're almost at the point where you can hear them with your windows shut at night. And I expect for the next few weeks that they're just going to get louder and louder. Yep, there went one right there. And the birds are feasting on them. It's, uh, it's pretty cool to watch. A bird swoops down, grabs one, and goes. And uh, I have two little boys. So what do little boys like to do with cicadas? They take sticks and they poke at the shells and then they find the live ones and they pick them up and they try to fling them around the yard. <laughs> it's the funniest thing. But if you haven't seen a cicada, I will throw up some pictures of them. I will not abuse your delicate ears by trying to play the noise from them. It is annoying, trust me. But uh, yeah, yeah, the cicadas are coming. They're pretty much harmless. We had a discussion the other day on one of the motorcycle groups as to what you would do to protect your bike from the cicadas and some people they weren't going to ride their bikes uh, i've decided obviously i'm going to but i just put another coat of that mcguire's hybrid ceramic liquid wax on the bike and i figure i'll just try to keep it clean i mean i'm not going to give up riding for six weeks just because of some bugs although i, I might i might be wishing for a uh, for a full face helmet here shortly I know that the last time that Brood X, which is the 17-year cicada here on the East Coast, I know that the last time it came through, I was on a scooter, helmetless, and I was dodging him one day and I missed, and one walloped me right, right here in the forehead, and it left a welt and it hurt for a couple of days. I was not a happy camper, but such is life, and you move on. Now I've got a half helmet. If they get to be extra thick, I'll probably just drop the visor down. So like I said, I'm not doing anything special for the cicadas. I'm just gonna roll with it. Whee! But in other news, 
when I put the tour pack on this bike, I bought the wool organizer and I bought the saddlebag liners for it. And I neglected to install the saddlebag liners before it got cold out. So I waited until this past weekend to do it. And <laughs> it comes with these little Velcro bits and I lost one of the packs of Velcro bits. So I bought some more online. Also, if you look online, everybody says you need more than what comes with the uh, kit. I was like, what the hell is this all about? Why do you need Velcro to hold the things in place? And I guess it's only because they don't quite fit right. And they try, they flex away from the walls of the saddlebags. But they're installed now, so now my sunscreen bottle doesn't rattle in my saddlebag, which is nice. The bike's a little quieter. But uh, I also had these leftover parts from the wall organizer. I was like, I don't know what these are. And several months went by, and I just left them sit in a box. And I looked online. I was, I was trying to find some information for somebody. And I found the installation instructions for the wall organizer. Apparently, I'd lost my copy. Got those extra bits out because they lined up to the picture on the instructions. And it called them hinges. I said, oh, no wonder these things are so tight against the wall. There's fabric hinges that go between the wall organizer and the wall of the door pack. That's just how dumb I am sometimes. But I got it figured out. I got them installed. Yay for me. So we talked about cicadas. We talked about acclimation. We talked about the saddlebags and the other stuff. The next thing we're going to go do is scoot up to Hawkins Creamery Road and check on those trees. The last time we saw them, there were just buds on the trees. I'm hoping they've bloomed by now. So let's go check that out. I will tell you, it does feel weird being back on this street glide after riding the KZ and my wife's Sportster back to back to back. I'm getting back used to it again. <laughs> it wasn't back to back to back. It was just back to back. Anyway, skip. Boy, every time I ride up here, there's more and more gravel at the end of this frickin' road. Anyway, we're on Hawkins Creamery, and I got two more things I'm gonna talk about, one of which I alluded to earlier, and that is, can you hear me? More and more, I have this issue with the Hero 9 where the mic isn't plugged in right, or the connection between the media mod and the Hero 9 itself isn't secure. And what I end up with is just the audio that the internal Hero 9 mics pick up. And it's ruined a number of videos now. I don't think it's a problem with the 9. I suspect it's an issue with the Purple Panda microphone that I use. I think it might just be wearing out. It's been plugged in and unplugged so many times that maybe I'm wearing out the connector. I don't know. I try my best. They can't all be gold. Whew, there's a chill in the air up here. I know I had the music playing during that, but, uh, ah, sugar. I wish I didn't have the music playing because you could have heard my tires chirping uh, as ABS fought to keep the bike from locking up. That was crazy. I put just a hair too much on the back wheel, I think. But I know he saw me, or she. I know that driver saw me. They definitely looked like they paused and said, now nah, I'm gonna go. I think he's going too fast. <sighs> well, that'll get your blood pumping, won't it? Now I've forgotten the other thing I wanted to talk about. Oh well. be coming up to our trees looks like these are some of those they're filling out quite nicely <laughs> and I've had this weird rattle 
<laughs> this whole ride and I'm pretty sure yeah it's this cup bouncing against my cup holder <laughs> I was like what's wrong with my steering something feels out of alignment yeah it's just the cup bouncing against the outside of the cup holder this is wider than my normal coffee mug and so it's hitting the rim of the cup holder <laughs> how funny is that anyway these are the trees they're filling out yay Ah, good times. Summer will be here before we know it. And so will my next video. Till I see you again, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, keep the shiny side up. Ta-da! guys were just messing around too much for my liking and i had a passing link so i passed them yahoo did this guy over here be bopping along <laughs> he's having a good time living his best life got his tunes got his feet moving <laughs> he's grooving <laughs> that's hilarious oh my goodness moonwalk moonwalk hell yeah <laughs> Oh my god, that's, that cracked me up. Oh man. That is definitely making it into the final cut. <laughs> man, you see the craziest stuff out on a bike, right? All these people around me in their cars, they don't have a clue what's going on. But us guys on two wheels, man, we really see everything. You kind of have to, but still, <laughs> it's great to see. <laughs> You know, once again, I had the radio playing because I expected the conversion van in front of me to not go that fast. But I'll be damned if he didn't take off faster than that Jeep behind us. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh, who'd have thunk it? Well, that about wraps up that ride, doesn't it, folks? Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, leave me a comment with your favorite part, and leave me a subscription. I do appreciate it. And until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe. Don't be a hazard like that guy. And, uh, Ta-da! Keep the shiny side up. So here in this saddlebag liner, you can see that the Velcro is not even really sticking, but you can see up here it's stuck. And then over here, it's not, but I'll just have to touch it up there a little bit. Maybe maybe bringing the lid down popped it out, I don't know. But uh, they're nice. They, they feel good and they stop all the rattles. And you can see I've got Velcro. Well, you can't see it, but I've got Velcro all around over here and here. The other side is much the same, except this one seems to fit slightly better. I think sitting in the trailer, they might have gotten squished a little bit. A little bit of heat will flex them and or make them more flexible. But there's my sunscreen, and it doesn't rattle anymore. But they, they're, not, they're nice. They add a nice touch. You know, for what Harley charges for these bikes, they ought to come with the damn things. And then lastly, up here, you can see the hinges, and you can see the Velcro here that they attach to. Yeah, these are nice. There's also an attachment point at the bottom of each of the three pieces they move around a little bit but they keep all your all your accoutrement all your stuff in place which is real nice just want to show you that real quick talk to you later as mike haley seven says